my Ram 3500 diesel truck finally arrived, I went nuts ordering items from Amazon for it and my Grand Design Solitude 310 GKR. This video highlights those items and a list and links for them can be found in the description in Amazon store at the feelthebreezerv.com website. One of the first items I bought was a TPMS, a tire pressure monitoring system for both the truck and RV. The alarm will go off if either the pressure or the tire temperatures increase. The one I chose is from TireMinder with a signal booster and pass-through air stem sensors on all the tires. You can actually carry the monitor with you as you screw in the sensors on each tire to match the location on the monitor. It was obvious from the beginning that I can't reach the fifth wheel hitch. Fortunately, I came across this wheel step making it very easy for me to pin the fifth wheel latch and set the emergency release cable. I also bought and installed anti-skid snap pads for all six of my pneumatic jacks. They're essential to prevent them from either slipping or sticking to the ground. However, I do not recommend putting them on in the winter as I tried. The rubber is way too rigid for them to snap on. Even with a Vaseline, it was difficult. Even though the Solitude's landing gear comes with a Lippard auto leveler, it is not perfect. That's obvious when the water isn't level in the kitchen sink or shower. This LevelMate Pro is a marvel. It turns itself on automatically and allows me to fine tune the leveling with my phone app. Another clever device is the Mopeka Pro liquid propane sensor. With two very strong magnets on the bottom of the LP bottles and the app, you can track the levels from inside your RV. Interesting enough, I found I was going through a 30 pound bottle in the winter in just several weeks. But in the summertime, a bottle will last several months. This is obviously from the colder temperatures reducing the expansions of the gases. To reduce the dirt from being tracked inside, I purchased these step rugs. All you do is clean your steps and apply the adhesive Velcro. That's it. They'll never come off even after installing them in the winter. To prevent insects and animals from nesting inside my heater exhaust vents, I installed these round screen covers over them. Wrap the edge with a rubber seal, attach the spring to the exhaust covers, and then attach them to the screens with a hook that's provided. It took less than 10 minutes to install both of them. You can imagine how useful it would be to know how hot or cold it is both inside and outside of your RV. Ambient Weather Wireless Indoor Outdoor Thermometer comes with four sensors. The number four is the interior sensor. Number one sensor is in my pass-through storage. The number two is my exterior sensor placed out of direct sunlight inside my open air LP locker. And the number three sensor is in my Nautilus water station. Since I'm a full-time RVer, there are many times when it's critical to know if my water lines are in danger of freezing, or to simply put on my jacket before going outside. My solitude came with a pair of 22 by 5 inch shelves on either side of the bed. However, they weren't wide enough for my CPAP machine, so my buddy Bill replaced the right shelf with a 9 inch one to accommodate it. It's nice to have friends with skills and all the right tools. My RV didn't come with shower shelves. These Bond shower caddies came with clear, super strong adhesive strips with acrylic hooks for the wire shelves. The curve of the shelves are not a perfect match for the curve of the shower corner, but as long as you don't hit them with your elbows, they'll stay on the walls indefinitely. Everyone needs a paper towel holder. This Prodyne paper towel holder mounted easily with Velcro and is stuffed in the corner to make room on the wall for the fire blanket. This Tanyoko fiberglass fire blanket has pull tabs on the bottom to extract it and throw it on your flaming stove. Faster is less messy than a fire extinguisher. To remedy stupid mistakes, I have a small first aid pack. The pack is very comprehensive, containing gloves, hydrogel for burns, gauze, cotton swabs, adhesive dressings, a triangle bandage, elastic wrap, and an eye, trauma, burn, and sterile pads. And there's more. Scissors, tweezers, safety pins, and a whistle. 
<laughs> That's right, a whistle. Everyone needs some place to hang their hat and coat with an over-the-door towel and coat rack on the pantry door. That goes for a Senuiz adhesive towel hooks for the broom and mop as well. To organize your pantry, I suggest a two-tier wall-mounted wire storage baskets, Artisan expandable storage racks, and M Design plastic organization bins. Well recommended expandable tension rods for your cabinets to keep your plates, bowls, and glasses from falling on your head or cutting you after traveling. I learned the hard way. To help keep your countertops clear, I recommend the OD 16 inch stainless steel magnetic knife strip secured to the wall with Velcro. And for your bananas, a macrame fruit hammock with hooks. A magnetic dry erase refrigerator calendar with markers helps keep track of your itinerary, especially if you're a full timer who changes campgrounds every week like I do. For storage, I tossed out my four dining chairs for two 18 inch wide by 40 inch long by 18 inch high tufted Ainsley Ottoman benches with hinged lids. One has extra bedding and the other has my computer equipment. I discovered I needed extra security to keep my freezer closed while traveling. The refrigerator has a lock, but the freezer doesn't have a very good one. A long bungee did the trick. Having chipped my desktop computers and monitor screen once, I decided it need better protection than just pillows. A swimming poodle did the trick. Others have suggested just wrapping it in a blanket and strapping it to the dining table. Everyone needs a spice drawer organizer. This one was made of clear acrylic. This nifty Zule kitchen roll-up dish drying rack with extendable rods fits perfectly in my sink. It never collapses after you master the extendable rods. Another must is water filtration. I have two exterior filters on the water intake hose. However, without knowing the reliability of local water sources, I opted to add a zero water, five stage, 10 cup filter pitcher. The inexpensive zero water filters average about $16 a piece. I use colanders nearly every week. These two piece silicone kitchen strainers take up virtually no room in the kitchen cabinet. For those cold winter days and nights, I found I needed an additional heat source. This Kiss Mill small electric ceramic space heater more than kept me toasty. My list goes on and on. These are just the interior items I use every week. They are all listed numerically in the description below. They also can be found at my Amazon store on my website at feelthebreezerv.com. There will also be a video on all exterior Amazon items I bought. And check out my upcoming destination videos to Buttermilk Falls in Pennsylvania and Watkins Glen in New York State here on YouTube my website, or Feel the Breeze RV Facebook page.